Hi, this is Jason Sen for ntmarkets.com. Uh, weekly look at the markets. We're going to choose the uh, INI E Mini S&P today. This is a long term chart, monthly chart going back to 1998, which clearly shows how we uh, peaked in 2000, had a big crash, big rally followed up into uh, 2007, where we peaked at 1586. The first peak in the year 2000 was 1574. Seven, second peak, as I say, is 1586. So we're getting close to that now, trading at 15.48 today. We've been up as high as 15.58 uh, last week. So um, we can still make it up to 15.74, 15.86, I think, um, even with the turmoil at the beginning of this week. However, we should hit really big resistance here, and I really think there's a very strong chance that the market turns around at this point. Um, really only a close, a weekly close, at least above 15.95, which is the trend line that I'm highlighting here is uh, the only way I'm then going to feel uh, bullish again. Uh, so really, uh, if you're long, looking a bit risky at this stage to, to remain long and uh, possibly trying shorts up in that 1574, 1586 area with a stop above, say, 1600, might turn out to be a nice trade with uh, good profit potential on the downside. You can see this four-year trend line, uptrend line, uh, which we've accelerated away from now. Uh, even if we turned around and headed lower and came back to test this trend line at around the 15, around the 13 and a half area, 1350 area, we'd still be nicely within that uptrend. Um, no damage done to that, um, but that's you know 200 points away. So uh, you can see the profit potential there for a relatively small uh, risk of. Uh, of around 25 points if we would start selling within that band with a stop above 1600. Uh, the FTSE, similar sort of picture. The the peak in 2000 was lower than the uh, peak, sorry, the peak in 2007 was lower than the peak in 2000, which gives us a trend line here on the cash FTSE 100 at 66.14. Uh, we'd have to really be looking at a close through the 2000 high of uh, 67.54 so a weekly close really above there for us to feel a little bit safer but even then we run into the 2000 high at 69.50 so again looking overcooked you know upside to me looks pretty limited unless we see a close at least above that trend line that goes back 13 years <clears throat> DAX similar sort of picture but um, the levels are much closer together the high in 2000 was 81.36 the high in 2007 was 81.51, so really we've got to see a close above there. I would say really feel safe a close above 8200 on a weekly basis uh, bef before I'd feel bullish again on this one. So uh, again, possibly worth trying some shorts there with a stop above 8200 with some good downside potential profit on that. Uh, here we've got the uh, 100 month moving average around the 6200 level and if I was to draw a trend line on there, I'm guessing it would Okay, so the trend line here comes in at 58.83. I'm not saying we're going to fall that far necessarily, but good downside profit potential uh, for a very small risk. Uh, gas oil, I just want to show you quickly on a weekly chart. We've been falling for six weeks now. Uh, I think we might have bottomed out here. If I can just get that weekly chart up. Okay, there we go. We've got a trend line going back to March 2009 so what's that four years we've had a pretty big sell-off over the past few weeks one two three four five six weeks or so we've bottomed out at 86 uh, 896 25 so far I think there's a good chance that's the low the uh, daily charts very oversold we're testing that big support line there um, going back four years as I say possibly we can get back up towards the the highs of 939 uh, that was the high uh, middle of March those two weeks there so middle 900s is a possible target for that about 50 points higher and we'll see what happens there thanks very much Jason Sen for ntmarkets.com